or Titiana Quest, you'll start off with the first one, will be Nightfall Apothic. When you complete her first quest, that's what it'll give you. After that, when you do the second one, you'll get the Twilight Apothic. And then the third one, when you complete it, it'll be the Sunrise, Sunrise Apothic. All three of these, when you first open it, you will not get a mod because it's during quest. But once you go to her shrine, which I'll be showing you guys in just a moment, you when you return back to her shrine and you put one of these three keys in, you'll get rare mod, rare aura mods, which I'll be showing you guys what aura mods are. Aura mods will be for your frame. It's on the top left, right here where you see the steel steel charge. Those are considered aura mods. As you can see, you get there, you get the brief respite. You also get empowered blades, which I'm still not too sure how that works, but I'm pretty sure it's a real good mod. It's a status on it with charge attack. You also get growing power from there. You get shotgun amp, you get pistol amp, which those are very good for like the Tigress Prime, you'll be good with the shotgun amp, and also with like the Gregatas or the Ascaletto Primes. The pistol amp works very well with that. Now, if you want to be like a support team, you can use Stand United, which would be very well. So now continue with the video we'll be showing you guys where it's at also when you get those keys make sure to equip one of the three guys you can only choose one of the three keys which as you see I got the Twilight Twilight Apocalypse now I don't have any of the other ones on I gotta build them but you gotta farm those plants I'll also be showing you guys where to go as well for those so now I'm gonna have that plant hold on it's, it is also when you go open the shrine guys it is very I recommend it highly to have a necros to make the drop more rare it'll help you with the drop and also bring like a crowd control if you're going in solo unless you farm with somebody else but in this case I am going in solo guys just to show you what it looks like and where to go get it so now I got my necros we'll be going in to the planet earth now you're gonna go over here to e prime and usually it'll say shrine or titiana the shrine or find a shrine we'll be getting a rare aura mod or you can get a stance mod for like the nunchucks or the nakana a nakana stance now here for the the nightfall apothics you'll be looking for like the the moonlight dragon lily or the moonlight jade leaf That thing don't want to freaking break. Plus, this is sort of like, okay, sorry about that. Now we'll continue on with the video. So now I'm gonna try to just go look for the shrine at the same time as killing these people, and I'll be showing you guys the plants after. It'll be more easier that way. I don't want to take up too much time for you guys. But as you see, also coming with a scanner, guys. I recommend going with the infinite scanner, which you'll find in the Cephalon Samaris when you upgrade it. Now, if you go like this, you guys will see like a bunch of plants all over the place. It'll be easier to find them. And there goes the first one right here. This is going to be a jade leaf. Scan that. See at the bottom where it says it. No, there was another one. There it goes right there. That is dragon leaf. You're gonna need that for the the nightfall apothex key. Okay. Now these you'll be needing these two. I believe for the Sunrise Apothic. So, let me see, I just don't want to farm too much of these stuffs. Okay, let's keep going. Alright, let's proceed to finding the shrine.
That's what happens when you don't have a freaking melee with uh, any mods on. I'm just scanning the ones as I'm looking for the shrine. Sorry if the video is too long, guys. I'll make sure I'll crop it down if anything. And also, a good thing when you guys are farming that, make sure you take out these dens. And when you come with a necro, so you have a higher chance of getting the bite rare mod for your companion, which is for your, your dog, your Kubra. Which that mod is very well. It's had crit damage and also crit chance on, um, on the mule. I'm trying to speed run this as much as I can. Load up. So let's see. Let's hope we get one off the start here. Yep, and we got the shrine right off the beginning. So see, this is what the shrine would look like, guys. You come in here, same as the Tatiana quest. So now I'm gonna pop my desecrate. And if you do come alone, you can only use the key twice. No matter if you have four of them, you can use only two of them. Two of the same key at a time so we're gonna hit it it's gonna light up this guy's gonna pop up down here you gotta be very careful because he can explode you so as you can see we just got the united stand holy crap and my health and i just popped that so late usually at times they drop two mods but in this case i'm sure you didn't drop another one so we go back at it again and see if we get a different mod we pop it here we go he popped up over there all right he is down he dropped one mod again and it's brief respite guys as you can see so there you have it um so that's what the video is all about those are nice aura mods to have for support also for yourself as well if you're running different kind of characters it's all in the way you play you set up those aura mods Especially Stand United is very good. It gives you more health. I mean, more armor, sorry. I do. And that works very well. If you're doing like heavy sorties, level 100, you can stack your armor with like a Rhino Prime. You also have the Brief Respite for every cast you do cast, gives you a shield to you and your team, plus 25% more shield. So now all we have to do is just run through the stage now, finish killing off the rest, and run to the end. This was just a quick short video so that people can have the chance of having those rare aura mods. And at least get to enjoy the game instead of using one aura mod. Like, something you don't like using. I mean, energy siphon is pretty good, yes. But you don't want to always stay using energy siphon. You want something that you can actually help out the rest of the team with something different. 
like the you can have the speed boost aura you can have infested impotence what i'm pretty sure that's what it's called where the infested moves slow you can have corrosive projection you know something something different and that's why i'm going about the video so you know helping everybody as much as i can i'm still learning a lot of stuff in it as well i'm not perfect i just figured i'd just show a video quick sneak peek of where you can find rare mods rare ores now bear with me guys i'm not that very good at making uh tutorial videos this is actually going to be my first i hope it, it i hope it helps you guys out in any way because it sure did when i did when i did this uh when i found this out it helped me out especially having growing power you get growing power from there as well it all depends on which apothic you have which like i said i'll be making more tutorial uh, more videos showing you guys where to find them from which key you get it i just did a basic quick one right now on where to find the rare aura mods now, if i had an ember it would be easier but again i did it with the necro so the mods the mod chance will be more better for me the drop chance come on so now that we got that out the way I can get a Kubra. Well, again, guys, this is my first new video of Warframe a tutorial. I hope you guys, you know, learned something from it. I hope I helped you guys with it. Now, again, I'm very sorry if I'm not very good at explaining things, but this is where you get very good aura mods, guys, the rare ones. Like Brief Respite, you see that? And then we have also Stand United, where it gives you armor for you and your team. If you want support, those are good mods to have. Those and growing power. No. No. I said no. Sorry about that, guys. So, again, thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button if you feel like, if you feel like it helped you guys out in any way. Leave me a comment down below if you guys want to learn anything else or that I can find out for you. Thank you. Hmm. Somebody one night. Somebody just fell off the map. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. You're gonna get a blue screen. This right here, guys. This is the little pictures. You're gonna need those as well. Let me see. 